Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, March 20, April 25th. Feels like March out there, but it's not. It's, a, it's April, April 25th, 2023. It is, uh, like I said, it's kind of chilly outside. Sunshine, got a little bit of a breeze going, so that, that's good, but it's about 38 degrees here at the house, so uh, kind of chilly, kind of chilly. Oh, I think the high is supposed to be 47, so it doesn't feel like late April out there. Checking time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Got my coffee here. Cheers, church. Kind of a Christmassy looking mug. Oh, fits with the snow flurries we had yesterday. Okay, so our Devo today comes from the Word in Season. And Pastor Bill Dole is our writer from King of Kings Lutheran in Pueblo, Colorado. And today in the church, we celebrate uh, St. Mark, the evangelist, a gospel writer. And uh, the reading for today is from Mark 1, 1 to 15. So, and I forgot to turn to that, so I'm still in songs from yesterday. So we'll get over to Mark. Mark, Matthew, Mark. Here we go. The gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days tempted by Satan and he was with the wild beasts and the angels waited on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Gal Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of, God, kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. So there we go. We got the first 15 verses of Mark, and we're jumping right in right away. So the title of the Devo is, appropriately enough, Mark Evangelist, as we celebrate his... Uh, Feast day. And the theme verse is verse 1. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. Take another sip of coffee. Cheers, church. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And Pastor Bill writes, One of the important tasks of editors is the elimination of unnecessary words. Every word is important and writing something unnecessary distracts from what is being said. Thus, when Mark wrote, the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ at the start of his gospel, I wonder if these words are necessary. While these words may serve as a title for the rest of Mark's gospel, there is more to them than that. The Jesus we meet in the gospel of Mark appeared at the river Jordan, but disappeared at the end of the gospel. There are no resurrection encounters with this Jesus in Mark, only a Jesus who has gone ahead of the disciples into Galilee. The story of Jesus doesn't end in the Gospel of Mark. It hasn't ended for 2,000 years. The Gospel continues to be written, and this Jesus who appears at the River Jordan and who disappears from the tomb is still loose among us. We are part of his story that we are... We are a part of his story that doesn't end at an empty tomb, but continues to be written in us. This is the beginning 
but not the end of his good news. If you, if you flip over to Mark 16 uh, in, in your Bibles, it'll say, uh, well, let me do that. Mark 16. The, the last verse of the, the earliest copies we have of Mark end at verse 8. And so it's Mary Madeline, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bringing spices to Jesus. Um, they see the, the young man dressed in white and, and uh, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus who was crucified. Uh, he is not here. He's raised. He is going to head of, go tell his disciples he's going ahead of you to Galilee. And so the original ending ends with verse 8. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. So that, that's the earliest copies of the Gospel of Mark. That's the ending we have. Later copies, they don't, you know, uh, storytellers don't like that ending. So as they're, as down through the ages, as they're copying Mark, uh, the copyists, the writers, uh, add a little thing, add, add little endings to it. So we have the shorter ending of Mark and then the longer ending of Mark um, because um, those early copyists and copywriters didn't like the, the uncertainty at the end. They wanted a little bit, but they wanted Jesus to appear, as do we all. But as Pastor Bill says, the gospel's still being written. Jesus is still loose among us. And so the gospel is being written by us as we go out and we share the good news and we tell others about Jesus. So, so be a gospel writer today. Talk, to, talk about Jesus to someone. Be of strong heart and encourage to stay in your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Do all the things you need to do to keep their, uh, yourself and others healthy. We do those things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. Include us in Jesus' story, Holy Spirit, that our actions may reflect his. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.